Welcome to Informatica Video Support. My name is Sita Khan Pradhan. I work as a product specialist for B2B in Global Customer Support Division of Informatica. In today's video, I will be taking you through how to enable debugging for ActiveMQ at runtime. ActiveMQ is installed as part of B2B data exchange. Message is flown from DX to Power Center and from Power Center to DX through ActiveMQ. Once DX picks the file, it puts into the ActiveMQ. If there is a Power Center workflow that is connected to the queue of the ActiveMQ broker, it consumes that message from the ActiveMQ, process it and put it back into the ActiveMQ. Then the DX again consumes back and sends to the downstream. Because we highly dependent on ActiveMQ for sending file from DX to Power Center and from Power Center to DX, there are many problems we see at the ActiveMQ level. So file can be in pending state for long time or there is no consumer seen for the queue. File could be in the transferring state. So in all this kind of problem, the problem, the root cause could be at the ActiveMQ. ActiveMQ logs at the errors in the ActiveMQ log file. But in many cases, the logging doesn't tell about the root cause of why the problem is seen. So in this case, we have to run ActiveMQ in debug mode to find out the root. In today's video, I will be taking you through how to enable debugging for ActiveMQ. There is a configuration file named log4j.properties in ActiveMQ home conf directory that you need to modify to run the ActiveMQ in debug mode. At the beginning of that file, you can see there are some warning. Those are uncommented out and there are few debug lines which is commented out. You need to uncomment the debug lines and comment out the warning information. So once you did that, you need to save the file, you need to restart ActiveMQ to run the ActiveMQ in debug mode. In some cases, the user or the customer is not ready to restart the ActiveMQ. So in that case, you have to launch the J console to run the ActiveMQ in debug mode. So here is the steps to run the ActiveMQ in debug mode at runtime. So launch the J console, connect to the ActiveMQ. You can connect to the ActiveMQ using the host and the port name that the ActiveMQ is listening. By default, it is 18098. Once it is connected, you can check the MBIN section. Under ActiveMQ, you can see there is a local host. Under that, there is a broker. Under operation, you can see there are many operations. Among them, one is reload log for the properties. So once you click that, it will take the modified log for the properties. And now your ActiveMQ is running in debug mode. Now coming to the demo. So. I have installed the DX in a Linux box and ActiveMQ is installed as part of the data exchange. To check whether ActiveMQ process is running or not, you can check ps-ef and grep for message broker. As you can see, I have this is the my AMQ process running. Okay. As you can see, I have this properties in debug properties is commented out and I need to remove them. 
and I have all these warnings which I need to comment it out. I need to save the file and I can restart the ActiveMQ to run the ActiveMQ in debug mode. But in many cases as customer will not be willing to restart the service. So I have to launch the J console and connect to the ActiveMQ and run it. I need to give the post name followed by the port that JMX is listening. Starting from 951, the we have a default user ID and password which is admin admin. Now I am connected to the active MQ. So I need to go to the active MQ section under broker the local host in the operation section you can see there are lots of operation like gc stop terminate jvm and the below of this one you can see reload log 4j properties so once i click this it will be taking the modified log 4j properties file so now my active mq is running in debug mode now if i open the active mq.log i can see all the debug information So as I can see, all the, I'm getting all the debug information in my ActiveMQ log because now it is running in debug mode. So this is what I wanted to present in this uh, video. So I hope this video will be helpful to for you to run the ActiveMQ in debug mode and uh, finding out the root cause of different kind of active MQ problems. You can email us at support videos at the informatica.com. Also you can tweet us at the rating for support. For more videos you can you can check info support in YouTube. Thank you.